So back in 2023, a New Balance was bringing on the market a new pair of lifestyle shoes for which I already dropped a few reviews. But in today's video guys, we're gonna have a look at the first color combination to drop in 2024 besides that new lunar year. Hello guys and welcome back for a brand new review. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and also giving me a like, it will really help out the channel. You can also give me a follow on Instagram and TikTok to see exactly what I'm gonna review in the next few days. In today's video guys, we're gonna have a look at a brand new colorway uh, coming for a pair of uh, New Balance World Runner. So let's go ahead and take them out of the box, which as you can see will come in one of the regular boxes, which will have this New Balance logo in this silver color here on top. So let's go ahead and take them out guys. So in today's video we're gonna have a look at this very nice uh, drop for this uh, New Balance Warped Runner in this uh, grey matter colorway. For the first time back in 2023 guys uh, this uh, new release coming from a new balance which is called the world runner has already dropped in a few color combinations most of them being actually quite nice so the latest one to drop uh, it's this uh, gray matter which is expected to drop here in the uk on the 16th of uh, february but it seems that uh, overseas this one it's uh, already dropped if i'm not mistaken so the retail price as usual for this one will be 155 pounds which will make it around 170 US dollars and giving the level of comfort and also the materials received in this one guys I really feel that uh, this one alongside a few others coming from New Balance uh, are actually quite uh, good on the market right now so it seems that New Balance will offer for this uh, pair a chunky contemporary classic uh, design which will also bring a full length uh, fuel cell midsole which will give a very good uh, comfort and support with this exaggerated sole so in my opinion alongside the 9060 coming from New Balance it feels that this one it's yet again a very successful uh, drop which uh, it seems that uh, every month uh, it's getting another color combination. So let's go ahead and also do a breakdown of this one guys. So as you can see for this upper as other releases this one will have a mix of uh, two materials one of it will be this uh, mesh one in this uh, gray color which will be a knitted one and this one will be a synthetic and wool blend uh, mesh which for sure it's feeling actually quite uh, nice so on top of this one we're also gonna have some overlays one of it will be this uh, very nice uh, to the touch gray uh, suede which will be present uh, here at the front of the tobo section also at the lacing system going all the way uh, to the midfoot on both sides as a mud guard it will also cover uh, partially this ankle section and also most of this uh, heel section as well and as you can see just above the heel section we're gonna have the same uh, suede but this one will come in a very dark gray colorway as in for the actual lacing system we're gonna have your normal punch out holes which will keep in place uh, this uh, cream uh, flat laces which are actually feeling also a bit chunky and underneath these laces guys we're gonna have a very well padded tongue in this gray color which as you can see will just have a patch of this sweat here in the midfoot keeping these laces in place continue now in the midfoot guys we're gonna have embroidered this N logo in this silver color which for sure is looking quite nice going now inside of the shoe guys for this one we're gonna have this uh, gray lining which will have a decent amount of padding but don't expect too much and at the bottom guys we're gonna have a very interesting uh, foam insole which will come in this cream color and this one at the heel section will also have this uh, very nice uh, new balance logo imprinted in this black color so now guys we can go to this uh, high fuel cell foam midsole 
which will come in uh, two colors. Uh, the main one will be this uh, cream one. We're also gonna have uh, a patch of um, brownish here at the lateral side of the heel section and also at the arch on the medial side. So it seems that these uh, two represented by different colors will actually have some different density. To be honest, for me, they feel um, almost the same. So for me, at least uh, this uh, midsole, it's actually quite uh, simple and it's on, it's actually quite uh, squishy underfoot. So for sure, I feel that the level of comfort provided by this one, it's actually quite good. So now guys, we can finish with this uh, rubber outsole in this uh, gray and black colorway which as I've said in my previous uh, reviews for this uh, range, it actually feels that uh, it's borrowing some uh, design uh, on the Nike Air Zoom Tempo. But this one will also have some uh, fuel cell foam exposed uh, here in the midfoot and also here at the heel section. And as you can see here at the back of the heel section on this uh, gray part of the midsole, we're also gonna have the only uh, New Balance um, logo for the whole midsole and the uh, outsole. So for sure I find that this one actually it's uh, quite uh, grippy and also the design is quite interesting as well. As for the actual sizing guys, for me as I have a skinny fit for this uh, Ward Runner, I just went with my true to size and this one fits me just fine. And I would say that it's gonna be roughly the same for people with normal feet. But just in case you have white feet guys, most definitely I would suggest you to go with at least a half size up just to make sure that this one is not gonna be too snug for you. So overall guys, this uh, latest uh, drop coming from New Balance for this uh, Ward Runner in this uh, gray matter colorway, in my opinion, it's actually looking quite nice. I really find this uh, range that it's actually quite uh, comfortable and also the mix of materials it's uh, quite good where we're gonna have a very nice uh, knitted material for this mesh which will be paired with this soft uh, suede material so for sure I find that the level of comfort for this one it's actually quite good and of course being paired with this uh, fuel cell foam midsole this is not uh, that heavy and also quite squishy underfoot and I really feel that the contrast between this mesh and suede uh, it's looking quite good in my opinion this one it's my second favorite color after that initial one which was was in that uh, cream and white colorway and I find that this uh, new range coming from New Balance which dropped in uh, 2023 it's actually becoming more popular every day and I'm quite pleased that New Balance it's uh, releasing more colorways almost monthly so yeah guys uh, this was my unboxing and reviewing of this uh, brand new release coming from New Balance for this uh, world runner in this uh, gray matter colorway I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to press the like button, maybe also subscribe to the channel. You can also give me a follow on Instagram and TikTok to see exactly what I'm going to review in the next few days. Of course, if you want to have a look at any of my latest reviews, you can choose from any of the videos which you have now on the screen. And as always, I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.